<laughs> bushy, bushy. What? What? Mom, you, ne you never told me I had a grandmother. Well, I just assumed that you were made in a lab because you said I was made in a lab. Well, of course I'll go visit her. What's the worst that could happen? She ends up being a demon and eats me? Hello, everyone. Welcome to a new adventure in The Visit, which is a game about visiting a grandmother who we never really got to know in our life because our parents never really told us about them. But we're here. Going to visit old Graham Graham. Going to get some cookies. Going to get some stories and pictures of our parents when they were a kid. And it's going to be a great time. Y'all y'all know what's about to go down. Leave a like if you ever visit your grandmom's house and you're like, Hey, what's up, grandma? Look, that's <laughs> out of that thought. Look, I know you haven't seen a lot of your grandmother. That's my fault, but she's not doing well. I think you should go up to see her. It's the right thing to do. She's become a bit loose lately, so she'll enjoy the company. I'll fly out on the weekend to meet you there. Love you. See you soon. Oh, and make sure you pack lots of warm clothes. Apparently, it's a record snowfall. Well, maybe we shouldn't go see her just this now? I don't know. Okay. I guess I'll- Oh! Well, oh, jeez, I, I- I was waking up. I thought it was- I thought I was upside down for a second. Okay. Oh, that's a nice bed. That's a sick bed, Grandma. You got a nice bedroom going. Can I click my phone? Okay. You have one new message. Message received today at 5.34 a.m. Who's calling me at 5.34 a.m.? That's specifically my sleep time, okay? From mom. Oh, God. I'm going to get yelled at for doing more shitty accents. <laughs> I hope you made it to Nan's, okay? Who calls? Do, do people really call their grandmother Nan's? I don't know. Is she well? Message me when you get this. Okay, Mom. Well... Given that you called me at 5.34 a.m., I, I probably will wait a bit to call you because, you know, it's 5.34 a.m. Oh, hmm. I can't believe how much it snowed. I can barely see outside, which no means no one will be able to see me when I'm being murdered in my grandmother's house by demons. That's reassuring. Oh, I wonder if Nan remembers this. What is that? Oh, that's a lovely picture. Did she take that? You, you don't even know if that, like, she was there. It could be one of them, like, gift shop pictures that people just hang up. E. <laughs> e. Hello, Nan. Where are you? I mean, I don't assume that you would be up because, again, it's 5.34 a.m. Oh, Nan, you left your blanket sheet thing out here on the couch again. You know what I told you about cleaning up? Oh, what? Oh, God. Yeah, that is a lot of snow. Yeah, you can't really see any. So that means that uh, if I'm being murdered and I have to like call 911, that's just not gonna happen, right? I'm not paranoid. You're paranoid. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> I'm definitely not paranoid. Wow, that's a lot of dirty dishes. Can't believe how much snow. I was looking at the dishes, but okay. All right, we'll just keep talking about the snow. That's definitely not foreboding and ominous. Definitely nothing weird about grandma's house. Just gonna make cookies and. 5.34 a.m. I should knock first. Well, I was going to. Don't just assume that I'm going to be rude and not knock. I'm a great grandchild. Well, what? <laughs> Grandma? <laughs> Is everything okay in there? You're just doing your yoga. Oh, yeah, she's just doing her 5.34 a.m. yoga. You guys... You guys never been up at 5.30, 4 a.m. and be like, God, it's it's sure time for some yoga, like, <sighs> come on, stretch those legs, jazzercise, jazzercise. See, it's completely normal. There's nothing to be concerned about. Um, hmm, it must be mom calling. Oh, wait, my phone? Oh, that's a fire hazard. I'm going to call the fire marshal and... Definitely not the police. Okay, I'm gonna go lock myself in my room. Why are we walking so slow? All right. God, this reminds me of that one movie where the uh, two kids went to go stay at the grandmom's house. Wait, where's my phone? Where's my phone? Hello? What the f What? I can't believe how much it snowed. I can barely see outside. I definitely heard a knocking on that window. That is not good. But you guys know the movie I'm talking about? It's like. They go and see if the gra grandma's house and ends up not actually being their grandparents. Like, how do I know this person's my grandmom? How do I know it's my nan? It could be somebody else's nan that just welcomed me in their home. Where'd my phone go? 
Hello? Where, where did the foreboding music go? There was music, and I just left. Oh, you can hear the wind outside. That's creepy. I guess I'll just go peer into my grandmother's room again. Nothing weird about that. Hello? What? Why am I breathing all weird? Okay. Whoa. He's up? I need to pry the door open. Why would I do that? Why can't she just live her life? You know, at this point, I feel like we're the intrusive one. What? Okay. Where am I going to find a crowbar? How am I going to pry the door open? Do I just, just with my, my bare hands? Hello? Can I? No, I don't think. Okay, I think I need to find a crowbar. Grandma, you got any crowbars just lying around that I can use to pry open your door? Whoa. Maybe I can use this to pry the door open. A knife? A knife. That's probably not safe. I can see like a lot of ways that that backfires on me. Also, what's with the opening and closing of doors? Oh. Oh, Grandmama. <laughs> Grandma? Grandma! Grandma, give me a hug! Gra Grandma? You're a bit beefier than I remember, Grandma. Um, Grandma. <laughs> Why are your arms so big, Grandma? <laughs> My, what big legs you have! If you've been hitting the gym, <laughs> Grandma, please stop walking at me like that. I don't know what to do. Do I do I go out the front door? Do I slowly make my way for the front door? Nope. Okay. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna go into Grandma's room. I'm gonna. You can't stop me, Grandma. Even though you're really buff and w making weird noises, I'm gonna go into your room and you can't stop me. This is the weirdest experience I've ever had going to Grandma's house. Can I hide in the closet? No. I don't know what I'm supposed to do here. Should I? Is this a ritual? Oh, another knife. Huh. The front door key. Okay. So I have to wait for them to not be outside the door. Okay, please don't come in here. I'm changing. Okay, I'm gonna make a break for it. The slowest way I know possible. Which is the only way I know possible. This is so weird. Stop. Please stop. Please stop. This is the slowest chase scene I've ever been in. Go. Go. Yay. I somehow made it. You're outside. It's freezing cold. Inadequately dressed and running barefoot through the snow. You see your mother's car enter the driveway, screaming. You run to her, explain what you see, and with a look of disbelief, she asks, insists that you calm down and come inside. You resist, grabbing your arm. She drags you towards the house, and dread overwhelms your body. As you enter the house, you see Grandma is standing in front of the fireplace. She turns to your mother with a smile. Let's begin. Okay. Um. All right, my family is a bunch of ritual cult people. That's cool. I can't tell if grandma was hiding her demonically buff nature or our mom was in on the cult part and wanted to sacrifice us to the, the buff demon possessing our grandmother. So let me know what you guys think of the story and what you think of the game in general down in the comments below. Also, make sure to leave a like if you've ever visited your grandma's house and she's turned into a, a demonically buff monster at 5 34 a.m and chased you around the house very slowly or also just leave a like in general because yeah either way thank you all so much for his adventure in the visit as always i hope you enjoyed the video leave a like and a comment so you can think of it and as always hope you have a great rest of your day bye bye